Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at exam questions on graph transformations. Before we begin, you need to have watched our previous videos on graph transformations, reflections, stretches and translations. The information in this video will be absolutely based on these previous videos. So if you don't really know your graph transformations already, please watch them first. Anyway, our first example is here. The curve with the equation y equals f of x has a minimum point of 3 minus 4. Write down the coordinate of the minimum point of the curve y equals f of x minus 2. Well, here we've got f of x minus 2, and so it's a horizontal shift by 2 units to the right. So the x coordinate goes up by 2 units, 2 spaces. So instead of 3 minus 4, it's 5 minus 4. The next one, it says, write down the coordinates of the minimum point of the curve y equals f of x plus 5 minus 6. And here is a horizontal shift to the left because of the x plus 5 in the brackets. And then it's a vertical shift uh, by 6 units down. So the x coordinate goes down by 5 and the y coordinate goes down by 6. We get minus 2 minus 10. We've taken 5 off the x coordinate. We've taken 6 off the y coordinate. And then finally, we've got uh, y equals f of x, 2f of minus x. And this is a vertical stretch by scale factor 2, and then it's a horizontal reflection in the y-axis. So the y-coordinate will double, and the x-coordinate will become negative. It will reflect. So we get minus 3, minus 8. The x-coordinate has become negative, and the y one has doubled. Okay, now let's look at example two. The curve y equals f of x is shown on the grid. Sketch the curve with the equation y equals f of x minus two. Okay, so we're going to move the uh, curve down two spaces like this because it's a vertical translation moving down two spaces. Next one, sketch the curve y equals f of x plus 1. This is a horizontal uh, translation, uh, but it's plus 1 inside the brackets, so you move it more negative by one space. It's translating by one unit to the left. Like that. Just remember when it's inside the brackets, it's kind of doing the opposite of what you'd expect. So if it's f of x plus 1 in the brackets, you move it more negative by minus 1. Sketch the curve half f of x. And it's a vertical stretch by half. So it's like we're squashing because we're halving the size of the curve. And so each y coordinate will be halved. And it looks like this. Just look at how all the y coordinates on this curve are half as high as the previous curve. Finally, we've got y equals f of 3x. And this is a horizontal stretch by scale factor 1 over 3. Remember when it's inside the brackets and it's 3 times x, you just multiply the scale factor as 1 over 3. And so we're squashing the curve so that each coordinate is one third as far from the y-axis. And it will look like this. So we've squashed the curve by dividing every x coordinate by 3. And it will look something like this. Again, these are just sketches. In your exam, it'll be a sketch. So you don't have to do it perfectly uh, accurate for everything, but it needs to look like a smooth curve that is pretty much accurately what you would expect. And we've finished example two. Let's now look at example uh, these examples here where we've got negatives involved. We're going to sketch y equals minus f of x. And this is a reflection in the x-axis. So it's going to reflect vertically like this. And then uh, y equals minus f of x is a reflection in the y-axis, so we'll look like this green curve here. We can now look at example 3. Uh, we've got the equation y equals f of g of x is shown on the grid in red. It has a vertex at point 4 minus 1. Write down the new equivalents of the new vertex after the following transformations. 
Okay, so there's a few interesting transformations going on here. Let's start with question A. Y equals 2 f of x plus 3. Well, we're going to stretch the uh, curve uh, by two spaces uh, by a scale factor of 2 because the 2 in front of the f of x stretches it vertically. And then we're going to add 3. So we're going to move it up by three spaces like this. So the y coordinate will double and then you would add 3 to it. And the new coordinate is going to be 4, 1. Next thing we've got y equals minus f of x plus 3. The minus sign in front will reflect it vertically in the x-axis. And then the plus 3 on the outside, uh, inside the bracket, will shift it 3 units to the left. Like this. And the new coordinate will be 1, 1. Finally, we've got y equals f of 4x. And this is going to be a horizontal sketch by scale factor 1 quarter. So, it will look like this. 1 minus 1. And we're finished. That's everything from today's video from Advanced Maths. Uh, you've now got some practice questions to try. You may want to rewind the video and watch it a few more times before you do this, but if you're feeling confident, you can try these questions yourself. Pause the video and have a go. It will take you about 10 minutes. And when you're ready, I'll reveal the answers in 3, 2, 1. How did you do? Did you get the answers correct? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching this week's video from Advanced Maths. Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. We're covering GCSE A-level and IB Maths with quick and simple explanations and new videos will be coming very soon. You can also check out our new website, advancedmaths.com, for all the best revision materials. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.